Every year I do a book list that I highly recommend to event and wedding planners. And these are the books that I think if you don't have in your library, you want to pick up because they're so helpful in building a successful business. So here goes. Hi, I'm Joni Ann Rowe, founder of the Event Certificate, and I work with event planners and wedding planners to get more leads into their business. If you're struggling to find leads, to get traffic to your website, don't hesitate. Just come on over to my website, www.eventcertificate.com, and let's chat. So every year I like to update this list because I find sometimes the books do change. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a couple of OGs that I've yet to have reason to not include on the list, and I'll explain what those are. So the first book that I often recommend to every single client is Book Yourself Solid by Michael Port. This is an old book. It's an OG on my list because I think if you're running a business, it's important to understand how to actually get booked, right? And this book takes you through the steps, not focusing on event planning per se, but it's focusing on how to actually sell your business in such a way that clients will just be coming to you and want to work with you because they understand what you're providing. And I love this book. I can't tell, like, I go back to this book, even though I read it years ago. Now, the second book is one that I, it's not really a business book, but it's one I often will recommend because I find as you're building your business, when it comes time to market and promote and sell yourself, I have a lot of clients who will hesitate. They don't want to be that person. They want to be behind the scenes. They just want to work on the decor and the fun, pretty stuff. They don't want to be the face putting themselves out there. And if you're running the business, especially if you're a solopreneur, you're gonna have to be, you're gonna have to put yourself out there. You're gonna be the person talking to clients. You're gonna have to have those sales conversations, right? So here's what I will usually say to them. Read this book and then come back to me. So this book is called The Art of Tooting Your Own Horn and it's by Peggy Kloss. And here's why I love this book. This book is not listed as a sales book. In fact, it has nothing to do with sales per se. And even though that's what it eventually gets you to do, what it really does is she take you through the steps of not selling yourself, but actually just stating the things about you and ultimately about your business in a way that will make people take a moment and go, huh, I didn't know you did that right and that's why I love it because so many of us don't toot our own horn I can tell you that I'm one of those people that don't I'm someone who I would never come out years ago I would never come out and say I'm Jodi Ann I do this I'm great at this I would never do that to me that just seemed like bragging right but that's the title of the book brag <laughs> the art of tooting your own horn because Instead of looking at it as bragging, but actually looking at it as a way of telling people what you do, how you do it, and how they can take advantage of it, whether that's to hire you as one of their employees or actually to hire you as a company, right? You definitely want to pick up that book if you're someone who's always hesitant about putting yourself out there. Now, book number three this author made the list twice and it's Donald Miller. So Donald Miller has two books and I read the first one I read is number four, but I'm going to start with number three. So the book I recommend is Business Made Simple. Now this is his second or third book. Don't quote me on that, but it's not the first one I read from him. And this one basically walks you through how to set up and run a business very simple, easy steps that a lot of business owners will miss. And what I mean by that, I mean how to be successful in your business, how to think about business on a level that you don't when you're coming from corporate or as an employee. This is the business book that you didn't get in business school. Let's put it that way. So you do want to check this out. You do want to pick it up. And number four is from Donald Miller. And this is probably one of my favorites. And it's called Building a Story Brand. Here's why I love this book. This book actually teaches you how to understand where your customers are at and how to market your business to meet them there. And by market, it means connecting your story to their journey. 
So essentially in the book, he talks about your customers being on a journey and what a lot of people do when they start businesses that they make themselves the hero, right? So you're like, I'm the wedding planner. I'm here to fix all your problems and make your event great. And he's like, don't do that. What you want to do instead is look at your customer as they are on their journey. So they're on a journey to get to the end, which is their wedding. How can you guide and support them through that process? And what do you need to tell them at each stage to make them look at you and think, this is definitely the person that I need to be hiring? You want to pick up this one. Believe me, it is a mind blower. Now, number five, I hesitated so much on this one only because I couldn't give you a list without adding an event planning book, but I find so many of the event planning books out there that I've read over the years, they don't get updated. So I'll tell my clients, I usually recommend if you're just starting out and if you're someone who learned on a very hands-on level, just go get a course. If you're not, then I recommend this book and it's called Event Planning and Management and it's by Ruth Dobson and David Bassett. It also features your girl, Jodi Ann. Um, I included some of the resources that I provide to my clients for the authors so you can actually access a lot of those electronically and it takes you to the theory of planning an event, finding a space, and it looks at it not only in the theoretical sense, but also practical. What do you need to find a venue? When you find that venue, what do you need to do? What are some of the risk management things you should think about when you're planning an event? Now, this book is very formal. I will say that, like it's formal taking you through the process. It's also used at a university in the UK. So of course it's structured in a certain way, but some people do like that you do learn that way if you're that person pick up this book you won't be disappointed if you're someone who needs the practical and you need more hands-on i would recommend a course um just drop a comment if you're that person actually and i'll recommend some for you because i have a couple of educators that i collaborate with who they do that they offer courses for people who are just starting out i'm not that person i focus completely on your marketing so i won't even give you any tips there so those are the five books I want to recommend to you for your library in 2022. And if you have any questions, drop them below. Of course, I'm linking all those books below for you. So you can just click that link and go directly to Amazon to grab a copy. Now, if you have any questions, drop them again. And if not, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can get more videos like this one week after week.